First part of starting the mobile force is selecting a job. Click on the job, it's going to pop up job detail. After you pop up job detail, you want to start at the done symbol and hit the drop down box and go to in route when you start to go to the job. After you hit in route, you want to come over and hit the black arrow, I'm sorry, the blue arrow beside it and it should hit a check mark and say in route to job. The next step is getting to the job. When you get to the job, before you start putting yourself starting the job, you want to go up and talk to the customer, make sure you're able to do the job. At that point, you want to go down and hit the drop down box again and hit start and hit the blue arrow and that starts the job. At this point, you need to go and completely do everything at the job. All the complete install, customer education, everything except for the end of the job when you're getting ready to print a receipt and close the job out. At this point, you're already on this page on summary. You want to hit the tag and enter a tag. You want to double click it. You want to hit the tag and then you want to enter the tag number. On this type of mobile force, you have two options. You can open it up and use the keyboard or there's a virtual keyboard at the bottom. Click on the virtual keyboard and then enter the tag number there. <clears throat> I prefer using this one. After entering the tag number, you need to go down to the drop berry. And then if you do anything here, you need to add that also. If you do a drop berry, you just simply need to put a Y. Then you want to do SRO maintenance. If you did a drop berry, you want to put a yes or any other type of SRO. If you do not do one, you'll just put an N for no. And you'll go down to remotes issued. Click on remotes and then how many remotes did you put in? You can use the virtual keyboard and put zero. Or you can use the keyboard and push zero. At this point, you want to save. It should say save successfully, and you simply hit OK. The next step in this process is entering any equipment. Hit equipment. And if you're entering equipment, and there's already set up for equipment, it will be in here. It will say DCT, DVR, modem. You'll simply double click it. In this case, I don't have that, so I'm gonna to have to hit the add button and bring down the type of equipment that I wanna put in. Let's say we're going to use a 2000 digital box. Simply right here, I'm going to put in the serial number of the box just by tapping it. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go ahead and enter the number. It also would have to be on an occurrence. Now you don't ever want to change these if they're already preset. I just put it on occurrence one. Now this is just for demonstration. We're not going to be putting equipment on this job because it's an SRO. So I'm simply going to hit cancel and cancel the job. 
If it was real, I would have just put in the serial number of the box and I would have hit save and it would have popped into this screen. Since we're not doing that, you would do that for every single piece of equipment that you install, except for a phone modem. The phone modem has to be entered by Insight. You can put a router in this way, any kind of digital box or DVR box. Moving on to the next step, I would want to go to my comments, which is right here at the top. You can use these arrow buttons to scroll over if you need to, either direction. And you just hit comments. And then you want to go down to the add tab, hit add. It's going to pop this up. You have to go in and arrow down and you have to answer questions for these first or last three. Ground block verification. Did you do that? You can simply hit yes by going to the keyboard and then hit save. And then you have to go back to add again. Go to the messages. Leakage level. Save. Add again. Go down the signal level. And put in what you want to put in. Hit save. And then you're done with this section. The next part is entering your completion codes. Scroll over. Hit codes. At the bottom, you're going to see solutions. You want to hit solutions. You're going to hit add. And then the codes are all right here. Now you need to select the code that you need to use. Just scrolling up and down to find the ones that you need. And you'll just select it. Save. And it adds the code automatically. Now we're going to restore this because we do not want this. We're just using this as a test. On the other codes, you'll, you'll need to enter a code for every single thing that you do, including every outlet that you install, if you do high-speed internet, if you do a double play, if you do a trouble call, whatever it may be, you need to enter a code in here for it. If you cannot enter the code, or equipment you need to call our dispatch have them enter the codes and the equipment and have them send it back to you at this point you're done with this part and you're going to move on to putting in the money to do that you're going to go back to your arrow menu and hit summary and you're going to go down to payment if there is no payment, you can skip this process totally. If there is a payment, you simply hit add and what type of payment. Hit the drop down box if it's anything besides cash. In the mobile force, you can only enter cash, check, or money order. You cannot enter a credit card. <clears throat> if it's cash, you'll simply hit cash and you'll enter the amount. If it's a check, you'll hit check and you'll have to enter the ID code for the check, which will be the check number. And then you'll have to enter the amount. On this one, there is no money. So we're just going to leave this blank. And we'll, at the end, if you wanted to save, you would hit save. And it would post the amount here, the check number if it was a check, and say check here. If it's cash, it'll just say cash. Nothing here in the amount. We're not going to collect any money on this, so we're going to move to getting the signature. Scroll over to the signature. You're going to hit get. It takes it a second to get there. Then you're going to hit signature. And then you're going to have the customer sign on this box. On this box, you must hold the mobile force so they don't drop it. Preferably laying it on a flat surface. At this point, you want to hit OK. And then you want to go in to complete the job by going down here to this drop down box that says in process. Hit the arrow down. Hit complete, and then the blue arrow. At this point, it should drop out of your pending jobs and go into your inactive jobs. It should stay in here if the job is completed.